Hey guys, David White here, and it's been a while I heard from you guys. Uh, it's been over three months since I created a tutorial. Um, I'm back, not fully back, but here is an amazing tutorial I like to show you guys, and it's about creating micro interactions. And as you can see, I'm moving my mouse. This is a prototype and not a real website. Yeah, but this is um, a, to a prototype I made of the advanced teams website really lovely stuff they have going and yeah so today i'll be doing that and without further ado let's dive right into it so i have the file here i've designed this you can see all of the elements can be selected and the next thing you need to do is create those little shapes that you saw back here moving around uh, so first thing i did was to ensure that I had my shape so select the circle shape I drew my circle yeah you might you would have to duplicate this and you would know why I'm duplicating it so I would keep this aside I'll wipe out every information on this leaving just the shape now let's zoom into this and get our shape colors so I'm going to do a linear gradient I'm going to choose um, yellow I'll create a center one which would be this color more of a shade of red and then green they are sharp colors here I know uh, those are kind of colors you might want to use for this and with that I would blow it so go to effects click the drop down choose layer blow select the settings increase it to 85 nice select it and duplicate it side by side whichever way you want to do it now i'm going to turn off the layer blur and the linear um, gradient select both of them and now i'm going to create a component set from here i'll select this go to prototype and with this selected i would draw it to this one and i'm going to put it on mouse enter all right mouse enter put it on smart animate select this one drag it back here and it's going to be on mouse leave and it's on smart animate yeah so for here i'm going to change this to 1000 yeah 1300 should be fine and for this one let me see yeah same thing over here 1300 millisecond all right that is ready to go so we that go back to design option and then we're going to actually um bring this into our system but we won't be using this so i'm going to rename this i'm going to change this to fill color and this is going to be empty state and i'm going to move it into this file so you can go to asset page 3 is over there and i can drag it into my file now i don't need the colored parts um i'll keep it at transparent so i'll actually choose the empty state from my property channel and yeah that's it i'll duplicate this not uh, exactly linearly i want it to flow in some type of way i'll select both of these and do the same thing over here yeah amazing bring this in a bit push it downwards do this and you know move this this way so yeah we have something good so just some spacing so that the people can see when the interaction stops as well so it doesn't seem like it's a, a recurring video all right so with that uh we are now ready for the next phase but what i like to do is to change the color of some of them so go back to layers and then select this drop down select the shape turn it on click here and kind of do whatever you want to do something like this for this close it i'll do the same for this one select that turn it on so that i can see what i'm doing 
and something like that I'm just changing like the interactions um, positioning nothing serious I think I like to do it for the first one select that you know what for this one I'm going to change the green to purple yeah I like that so let's let's have something like this yes and then we can hide that close out all of this amazing stuff now I'm going to bring in my design so this is my design I'll put it inside up here yeah you guessed right so move it in and as you've moved it in we can now center it horizontally and vertically yeah we have that and that's all we need it's at the top and that is perfect so but then there's something I did so I selected the background of this design the background is this and I would reduce the opacity to about let's do 70 70 and then I would blur it I use the background blur with the setting you can put it at 200 yes this should this should work all right awesome yeah awesome all right with this we're pretty much done if i play this now i can have the interactions going around it would work but i would want to create the parallax um, effect so this video is in two so i'll duplicate this one and i'll get rid of all of this i don't need them anymore delete I'll delete this one select this make this very big something like this at the same focal point and yes sorry I have to like move everything I moved only the other layer so everything that's why you can see it being as if it's transparent um, so delete all of this delete this this aha and make it big amazing now with this I would select both of them all right and I'll create a prototype sorry I'll create a prototype so move this go back to V move this downwards it's going to be in um, um, sorry it's going to be on drag on drag I want to create a scroll effect so it's going to be on drag so it's going to um, navigate to and it's correct select this move it upward it's also going to be on drag and then I'm going to do one more that one more is going to be on mouse leave all right so this is going to enable everything that I've integrated um, in this design come to life and we're ready to test this so let's play we have our flow here if your flow wasn't here it's very easy to choose your start point so if you select this you can click start point but yeah that's not what we want all right so with this i would then play this so let's see what we get all right that is loading and yes we have our interaction um pretty cool um uh, yeah so that's it you can drag this upward and it would give you the other part yeah and that is it guys my recording my recorder is covering the part of the screen where I can make it bold uh, make it full screen but yeah I guess you can you can see um, the end result so this is how you can create micro um, animations 
or interactions for your designs if you're trying to like create this effect you can make it small slower in the millisecond you can make it faster depending on your choice all right but this was how it was created all right guys i'll see you in the next session someone asked for a maxing video so i definitely will be doing it after this video um after this recording so yeah watch out for the post next i'll be showing you different ways you can max um images illustrations and the rest of them bye bye